Hey guys, what's up? My name's Kimmy, and finally, I know it's been a long time, seven months approximately, but I thought I would uh, give this video another try. I tried filming this like a couple weeks ago and it didn't come out the best, but um, I don't really care if this comes out terrible. I'm drinking Starbucks, in case you couldn't tell. <sighs> That's my drug, literally. Like, I need my Starbucks. I know I sound so basic, but I don't really care. I need coffee in my system. Let's do this, guys. Five things I hate for my second YouTube video. One, two, three, go. Backhanded compliments. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but I freaking hate when someone gives you a backhanded compliment. Let me give you an example. Perfect example of this. I hate when people tell me I look better with, like, my hair blonde. Okay, yeah, I'm naturally blonde, but I dye it, and I like it brown, and it looks cute brown. And I've had it, like, black before, and red, and it looks cute. But, like... The thing is, like, okay, when people say that, they think, oh, like, if I say, like, oh, I like her hair blonde, she'll go back to blonde, or maybe, like, she'll just, like, I'm just, like, conveying my opinion that it's, like, better. Okay, you think in your head that that would be a compliment. Like, you're thinking, you're cute, but you don't look nearly as good as you could. Like, you could look so much better. Like, stop. Stop. <laughs> stop doing that to people. It's really annoying. No one likes it. It's... You know, if you're gonna give someone a compliment, don't make it backhanded. Like, what's the point of even complimenting someone? That goes with anything, too. Like, oh, you could look better with this. Like, that's basically what you're saying to someone. Like, I don't know. I really hate that. It really gets to me. And it's also, it ties into my next thing that I hate, which is unsolicited advice. Yes, some people still do this. Um, basically, when someone gives you advice or an opinion, and it's not solicited, like, it's not asked. Like, did I ask you? I just hate unsolicited advice, okay? Like, if you're gonna think something, keep it to yourself unless it's asked for. If you just say something, I'm not gonna listen to you. Like, sorry, like, I'm not, well, I mean, listen, obviously, but I'm not gonna, like, take that. Oh my gosh, wait, you said this to me? You said, like, you would like my clothing this way or my hair this way? I think I'm really gonna take that into consideration. I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> Probably not. Um, I did not ask, so that's just a... That really irritates me. That really grinds my gears, as people say. Wow. Why did I really just say that? I really just said that. Okay. Here's a third thing I really hate. Um, I don't like when people comment on things they do not understand. Basically, um, to give you an example of this, I really hate when someone says to someone else, Oh, why don't you have a car? Why don't you drive? Why don't you have a job? Why are you doing, why do you want to choose this with your life, like, but it's not even just a question, like, people ask that with this idea in their head that you're not doing what you should be doing, or what you're, whatever you're doing is not going anywhere, or basically they think in their minds that their opinions are always right. You don't understand what that person's going through. Like, maybe they don't have money for something that you're asking about. Maybe they are scared. Maybe they have anxiety. Maybe they're depressed. You don't understand what a person's going through. So to comment on something that you don't understand is purely ignorant. It's purely rude. If you're genuinely asking because you care, that is one thing. But you can tell when people are asking it in a very, um inconsiderate manner. Number four, people's expectations on stereotypes. Okay, this one bothers me because I don't like when, well to give an example, I don't like when people will say something like, oh you listen to that kind of music? Oh that's surprising. Just because of someone's like taste in a certain genre doesn't mean they're gonna automatically hate or not like other music. A lot of people I've noticed like they will automatically make this assumption in their mind. I don't know what goes on in their mind, but they just make this automatic assumption and it's like, like, almost like a bell goes off in their head and they're like, oh, well, because of this, they, they like this. Like, because you look like this, you like this music, or because you like this music, you only listen to this. Like, no, don't like when people do that. That is like a automatic no. Another thing I really hate is the whole misery loves company concept. I don't like when people are unhappy with their own life so they try to tear down others. I'm sure you guys all agree with me. Like, I'm sure most people out there are gonna be like, well, yeah, duh, like, but a lot of people don't realize, like, that it really goes, it can be deep. I don't believe in making someone else feel bad about 
something they choose to wear, something they choose to do. Um, I don't believe in making people feel wrong for those things. Just because you're unhappy, please don't make other people like unhappy. It's not okay to make people hurt just because you're hurt. So those were five things that I really hate. Um, leave me a comment down below if you agree with me. Leave me a comment down below um, on some things you don't like. Bye guys. Peace and love and goodbye. Peace and love and goodbye. Should that be my outro? Bye guys. Adios. Adios, cinnamon toast. Catch you later, crocodile. I mean, catch you later, alligator. In a royal crocodile. Toodaloo, cinnamon too. Wait, toodaloo, kangaroo. Um.